dear student let us start the laboratory first of all go to the course aws cloud foundation click on the module and then find the laboratory which is available in module 5 and lab number 2 build your vpc and launch a web server here you will find load lab 2 so click on this link and it will open the pre defined laboratory so here the option start lab is available as you click on start lab that aws red dot will be converted into yellow and now yet yellow color will be converted into the green and then we can start our laboratory till then look at the scenario in the scenario you can find the two availability zone a and b and uh, in the side you can find the public root table and private root table so here our laboratory is ready and you can see that that the yellow color is now green and the instruction is given that total timing is 90 minutes and you can refresh the web browser and get more time so now click on aws so you will be diverted to the console now search the vpc service click on vpc so now you are available in a vpc here you can check your availability zone so you are working in n dot virginia availability zone or you can say into the virginia region here click on create vpc and you can set the setting as for the table so first of all i will change the name and uh, the name is lab vpc so i will remove the name project and i will write the lab uh, CIDR is same as per the table, no change required, that is 0 slash 60, number of availability zone is 1, the number of public subnet and number of private subnet that both are 1. Now in the custom subnet CIDR block, uh, I will set it as per the diagram, so which is 0 slash 24 and 1.0 slash 24 in the net gateway i will select the ln1 az and vpc endpoint it is no the rest is as it is no changes now click on create vpc you can also check the preview which is inside you scroll and now create vpc so it will take time and your vpc will be built and uh, you can view the vpc and check the detail so here you will find all the detail you can check the resource map you can check the CIDR you can find the subnet click on a subnet so these are the subnet which you have created now to take the detail of subnet you click on the subnet one by one public subnet and the other is a private subnet so this is the detail how you can check click on a subnet and find the detail now the root table so in root table you can check the private root table so click the private and then you can check find the internet gateway so that is again as per the requirement it will automatically build when you launch the vpc net gateway is also there click on net gateway find the net gateway detail now again go to the your vpc so now i will uh, check the subnet and i will create the new subnet as per the requirement so this is the first task which i have completed now this is the task 1 requirement which is already done so now in availability zone 2 i will do the next task first was create your vpc now i will create a subnet or create an additional subnet so go to the subnet create subnet click on create subnet and uh, now here i will first of all select my id which is a lab vpc as per the diagram and uh, I want to create the additional subnet so first I will create the private and then public so I will give the name as a private 2 and uh, the region is zone B so I will select east 1 B 
here the subnet will be as per the diagram 3.0/24 and uh, this is how i can create the subnet so click on a create subnet so i have created the subnet as per the diagram now i will uh, assign this subnet into the root table so there are two private network and i want to make the connection between them so i will make a association first by doing the subnet association so first of all root table which is as per the diagram now in the subnet association i will edit the subnet association and make a connection between these two private association so now click on the edit subnet association you will find that one private association is already connected you click on the another lab subnet private 2 so now both private are uh, selected and now just save the setting so this is how i have completed the first block requirement so now i will again do the uh, subnet association for the both private and both public association so in the diagram you can see that root is as per the requirement so no need to change anything in the subnet association now i will combine two public subnet so go to the edit subnet and find the public subnet oh but i forget to create a subnet public to so let us do it so go to the vpc and go to the subnet go to the create subnet and in create subnet click on it here as per the diagram you now create a public subnet so select the lab vpc select the region so that is the uh, b and give the name as a public 2 so lab subnet public 2 and availability is on which is a b so i will select us east b and uh, the cidr block will be as per the diagram 2.0/24 so this is how i can create the subnet click on create subnet so now public subnet is also available and now i will make a association so for that i will go to the root table which is available in the left side click on the root table and here just click on a public so public subnet association and click on edit public subnet association and here select both the public subnet first is tick second you just tick it and now save association so now you can see that your lab scenario is ready as per the diagram to availability zone uh, there are two public subnet and two private subnet you can check into the map so your lab vpc is ready as per this diagram so your gateway is there your net is there so you have completed the task 2 now i will uh, create the third task where i will create a vpc security group so go to the security group and click on a create security group here i will create a new security group so first of all i will give a security group name which is as per the manual web security group in the description i will write as per the manual enable http access i want to create http access so it is enable http access now vpc is again the same lab vpc now here into the inbound rule i will add the rule so now click on add rule here uh, keep the type as http change the source to anywhere ipv4 click here the http and then go to the source click the anywhere ipv4 which is 0/0 in description write down permit web request 
so this is your inbound rule now click on a create security group so you have completed task 3 where you have created vpc security now i will go for the task 4 in task 4 i will create ec2 instance so i will go to the ec2 go to the instance and now launch instance so click on a launch instance select the name here i want to create a web server so name is web server 1 as per the manual uh, now select the ami amazon machine image so here i will select the by default which is amazon linux so which is already selected and uh, scroll it you need to give the key pair so select the key pair as a v o c k e y and uh, you can edit the network setting you just go into the network setting edit it so here you just change the lab vpc and uh, subnet is a public two so keep it as it is no need to change now uh, make it enable auto assign public ip should be enabled and uh, now i will select the uh, existing security group which i have just created so security group uh, i will take my group which is a web security group now i will uh, scroll down and uh, the rest of the thing will be as it is i will go to the advanced detail here in the details scroll down and write down the script over here user data what you want to display so i will go to the manual where already script is given so this is a script of user data copy it paste it here put it into the format so you can read it it will install the apache and php server now click on a launch server so your instance will be ready and you can check the status go to the instance it is pending it will be running soon so now it is running and it is available so i can check my web server go to the detail in detail you will find a public ipv4 dns so copy the link and this link just paste into the web browser new tab and check your web page is running or not so here web page is running so i have completed my lab successfully i will submit the report it will grade my activity and give me marks so here i am uh, getting the marks which is 30 out of 30 so my lab is over now i can check the grade over here which will also display the time so i am getting 100 out of 100 and uh, now i will end the laboratory and i will close the tab this is how you can complete the experiment.